Greetings everyone and welcome to True Crime Cast. This is just a quick video to give you an update on what's going on in the Idaho 4 murders and the case with Brian Koberger. Apparently there is a conflict of interest between his court-appointed attorney and one of the victim's relatives, Zana Kernodal actually. Her mom, Kara Kernodal, was also being represented by Ann Taylor, who is the chief counsel in Kootenay County Public Defender's Office. Apparently, Zanna Kernodal's mom, about four days after the killings, was arrested for drug possession charges. Realizing this, on January 5th, Ann Taylor had recused herself from that case, but it might still be seen as a conflict of interest, and if so, that would mean that she would be taken off the case and Brian Koberger would actually be able to get a, I don't want to say real attorney, but someone who is not court-appointed. They would actually give him money to be able to pick whatever attorney he thought would best represent him in this case. Brian C. Koberger, cause number CR 2922-2805. Mr. Koberger is present in court. He is in custody. He is appearing with his attorney, Ms. Taylor. Mr. Thompson, Ms. Jennings, on behalf of the state. Now as I sit here recording this, it really brings up another theory here. I'm sure this is just a, a huge stretch, but what if this is somehow connected? Santa Carnotal's mom is in jail because she apparently had drug possession charges on her record or is dealing with that. Well, what if Brian Koberger, who had a heroin addiction, allegedly, what if he was buying drugs from Zana's mom and this somehow is connected to the case? What if this was a revenge killing for Zana's mom doing a bad deal or something with him? I would think it's very unlikely, but just recording this, it popped into my head and I thought, well, that would be a random connection. Anyway, moving on. So just one more weird twist in this case. It looks like right now they're going to allow her to keep representing him. But you just never know if it if he chooses he could demand a new lawyer and if he does then he will get one this is a huge case and they cannot afford to make any mistakes and need or a reason to have a retrial remember any persons mentioned in this video are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law all this is just speculation so that was all once again if you like this video go ahead and give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you all again real soon stay safe out there